first starting to compete, Tony was always competing with Lyrix. Now Lyrix is on the opposing team. They're just going to go ahead and leave for some reason. Yeah, so maybe this is a matchup where, I mean, obviously both teams are going to want to win, but this might be maybe a grudge match. I don't yeah. know. That's interesting to think about. Former, it? former teammates going up against <laughs> each other. I know, I know the pressure of that, like playing with Soda in tournaments for five years and then fighting them. Made me want to win extra bad <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> I feel that, man. Absolutely. Even like on the ladder, when I when I queue into someone that I normally play with, I'm like, all right, guys, we can't lose this. Yeah. No, nope, we can't lose this, everybody. <laughs> it's it's a big deal. So it's gonna bring a, a bit more of an intensity between these two teams. But I don't know. Tony from the Bronx has been doing a fantastic job every tournament. Um, last tournament they did actually get knocked out relatively early. I think it was like round three they got knocked out, um, which is different considering that they won they they beat everybody in the previous tournament so um but yeah, they they were actually um one of the first teams to bust out siege breaker in this yeah. <laughs> tournament and we were kind of taken aback by that i mean uh, it's ability i mean you don't really think it's going to be that great because you're giving up one of your only ccs as a warrior giving up that intimidating shout but the damage just seems to, seems to be so overwhelming, and it lines up with the BM curls quite nicely. I think it's a 50 second or 45 second cooldown, and both those together just equal an unhealable amount of damage with one trap or one cyclone onto a healer. Yeah, and they go for those weird windows too. Like they bash up a rogue to get that um, that faint off, and they go for that one shot, and it worked out so well for them. Um, but can they do it again, especially considering uh, a trick like that, I feel like um, when thought about preemptively, teams can really try to prevent a lot better. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, you can, you, can, you can do a pretty good job preventing it, kind of, I guess. It's really yeah, hard how do you prevent really prevent a bash, though? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get cycloned up, and he sits there, and he bashes out of it. There's nothing you can really do. So it's one of those things you know is coming, but you can't really stop it. Right. Which is which is crazy to think about, but it's it's an effective strategy. Um, quite a few people are asking in chat about BlizzCon. Yeah, I'm going to BlizzCon. Um, did D Machine need a tadpole? I'm not going to respond to that. There was someone uh, uh, saying something about a league, and yes, uh, we do actually want to create a league where these weekly tournaments actually uh, build up to something, something monthly. Um, and then eventually even something bigger than that. So that is like our goal for GCD TV though It's gonna take a bit more growing. It's gonna take it a bit more uh, Partnering up with other people to make that happen, but that is something you guys can look forward to in the future um, So your continued support and all the the community's help is Building us and helping us create that World of Warcraft 3v3 arena league and That's gonna be really cool, but that's all in the future guys, but right here right now Tony from the Bronx Versus R Monk sucks. So Losa, Tony, and Super T's running that KFC. Let me just go ahead and let this team know. Uh, I'm actually wondering how this matchup goes. I think as the TSG gets actually really hard. Um, I think this is what's going to happen. I think Tony from the Bronx is going to sit on Valido the entire game, and because of that, Valido is only going to have one target he can hit, which is Losa, and he's going to. They're going to try to do swaps on a Super Tease, but he's going to have to use that Death Grip to get him, and Super Tease is going to get away quite easily. So they're going to have a really, really short burst opportunities on a Super Tease, and uh, Losa will be the main target of choice. But immediately the trap going on a Dirt Slayer. Valido taking a lot of damage down to 50% HP, but Lear exploring his recklessness as well as his Blade Storm. Tony in a little bit of trouble. The Asphyxiate going out on a Super Tease, and Tony taking a lot of damage, but he did get pre Iron Bark there. DJ Ratzler X pushing in, getting the in cap onto Super T's. Super T's finally out of CC. Gonna use that NS to top off Tony. Uh, but now Lyric's cooldowns are gonna fade, and this TSC's damage is gonna dip off a little bit. But it looks like they're just sitting onto Tony, trying to get out as much pressure as possible. The BM Crow's coming out though. Valido getting that bubble from DJ Ratzler X, immediately getting that bubble. He's gonna have some additional healing, and that's gonna absorb a lot of damage. But they're killing through it quite nicely with those BM Crow's. Uh, finally, the life cocoon's gonna fade. Super T's has his heart of the wild up, full hots on a Tony, but Tony getting hit really hard right now. Um, the full Wyvern Sting going out onto DJ Ratzler. Valido forced to use that AMS. Tony's gonna get topped off from those heart heals out of Super T's, and DJ Ratzler now into the trap. Trying to play catch up on both Lyrics and Valido at the moment, uh, who are just taking so much damage. 
Yeah, Super T's actually getting gripped in in Shockwave as Super was put into that fear. Ironbark being forced out of Super T's. And uh, there's the Asphyxiate on top of that. Uh, Tony could be in a little bit of trouble here, doing a really good job kiting this double melee. Um, but uh, Battle Sand's also coming out from Losa. He wants to get offensive on these guys, but Lyric's also getting really, really offensive onto Tony with that Battle Stance. Dipping down to 60% health here. The Nature Swiftness coming out from Super T's is going to top off Tony. He's going to be okay for now. The Shockwave on the Lyric's the full trap on the DJ Rat Slayer. And Videlo still taking a consistent amount of pressure from this KFC. Losa now taking a bit of cleave damage, dipping down to about 60% health here. But DJ Ratslayer is going to have to get some manatee in here pretty soon, but that cocoon is forced once again on Videlio. Now Lyric's taking a bit of damage, dipping down to 44% health, and that cocoon's not available for him too, and he's going to have to use that die by the sword. Super T's getting CC'd up, though, and Losa forced to use that die by the sword. Um, like you were saying, the entangling roots coming up from Super T's as well as a double shockwave from Losa onto Valido and Lyrics. Uh, DJ Ratzler, like you said, his mana is going to be a big issue. He's sipping on those manatees, but I don't think he has any left. And uh, the longer this game goes, um, Super T's is going to have quite a mana advantage. That is the death grip um, on Super T's. He's going to immediately displace her away, and he's just going to be able to play max range and top off his team. But uh, Valido actually getting two Super T's connecting. That's going to be Barkskin. Safeguard coming out from Losa on a Super T's, trying to prevent that incoming damage. And Super T's is going to be completely fine. Valido taking a lot of damage at the moment. He has his Icebound, or sorry, he has... Um, his Pillar of Frost up right now, trying to get out as much damage as possible. Tony getting hit really hard, though. The Iron Bar coming up from Super T's. He's trying to pick him off, uh, but Lyrics and Valido still the ones in trouble. The full Wyvern Sting coming up from DJ or from uh, Tony onto DJ Rassler, and now Lyrics forced to use that Die by the Sword down to 19% HP, but uh, he's still dipping lower and lower, even with that Die by the Sword up at the moment. Super T's caught into a DR clone. Losa um, not really taking too much damage at the moment. Our monk sucks is completely on the back foot. Lyric's trying to make something happen, connecting on the Super T's. Super T's is going to easily be able to heal through uh, that damage, and Valido just not able to connect. He's just forced to play defensive, forced to be in blood presence right now as they are training him down. Yeah, I feel like this KFC is definitely in a good spot. Vid uh, Videlo now having to use that AMS. The, both of the Warrior and the DK on our Monk Sucks is just taking so, so much damage, and it's reflecting the mana of DJ Ratslayer. There's the bash on the DJ Ratslayer. Lyric's trying to eat the trap, but he's not going to be able to. The full trap lands. Videlo could be in a bit of trouble. He doesn't have AMS for 20 more seconds, and he's dipping down to 40% healthier, 30% healthier there. As Losa's Recklessness is continuing to go on, that's going to force the cocoon out from DJ Ratslayer, and he cannot continue to keep this, uh, this double melee alive for much longer but super tease though uh, does have nature swiftness and bark skin available to him and both the Terrence is on Tony I mean this KFC is looking super strong right now uh, and as the game goes longer and longer I feel like Tony from the Bronx is gonna get their advantage uh, more and more yeah, absolutely. Like we were saying, DJ Ratzler is going to be running out of mana, but it might not even come down to that. There's the full trap. He has no trinket available Ooh. for quite some time. Lyrus taking a lot of damage. Super is getting swapped over too, though. He's going to be able to displace away as soon as that um, stun ends on him. Like I was saying, now he has Iron Bark as well as full hots. He's going to be able to easily top off the full clone on the DJ Ratzler. Lyrus down to 20% HP. The rallying cry coming out. Bash on the Lyrus at the moment. He goes into execute range, and he's going to get executed there by Losa, and it's going to be 1-0 for Tony from the Bronx. There it is, 1-0 coming out from this KFC, and that was a convincing game at that, man. I felt like uh, this KFC had the advantage from start to finish, though uh, this team, I feel like, has a lot of pressure when able to connect. Um, but that's the thing, they really can't connect, especially with uh, Losa doing just such a great job, just slowing these guys down constantly, just kind of forcing them to make either hard swaps or hit Losa himself. And he is not a great kill target for this team, considering you have a... A squishy hunter and restoration druid available, but they just yeah. can't reach him, man. Warriors are an awful kill target. I mean, if they hit Losa, he's just going to be able to sit in D stance. He's going to get in a tremendous amount of rage because of that warrior four set. And uh, Super Tease is going to be able to easily heal him up through the damage. There's going to be minimal CC. I mean, all they really have is asphyxiate uh, into an in cap. And if they can prevent that by keeping um, DJ Ratslayer on the back foot and forced to heal. Uh, it's going to be really difficult for them to actually land a kill. Um, yes, that commentary provided by Peter Pan. He also wants... Uh, whoa! If that's how you feel, Peter Pan. The next map chosen by this TSG is going to be on at Dollar Ran Sewers. Do you want... I can't see him past like my little curtain. So I don't know where he is. <laughs> Alright guys, trying to jump into this next map. 
game requests being sent out. Q's accepted, but it's just not working. <laughs> I don't think Peter Pan's saying that. Alright guys, here we go. I'll see you in the next map in just one hot minute. Alright guys, actually, welcome to Dollaran Sewers, it's currently 1-0 for this KFC, this TSG definitely is going to have to change quite a bit up if they want to take a game off of uh, Tony from the Bronx, these guys definitely looked confident, and uh, yeah, I don't know, what strategy would you be looking at doing if you were this uh, TSG, I feel like um, maybe even a split strategy might be better than what just happened then, there. It's hard though because what's going to happen is Valido is going to be forced to hit Losa if they do a split strategy. Lyrics is going to go on Super Tease and Super Tease is just going to drag him behind a pillar and root him up. And meanwhile, Lyrics won't be able to help at all while Valido's getting crushed. I mean, his stuns are really important onto Losa to sort of stop some of that damage. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a really, really difficult matchup for this TSG, I believe. Tony seems to be the target choice at the moment. Lyrics is using that recklessness immediately. Super Tease is going to bash him, and uh, Lyrics is actually going to have to trinket that if he wants to go up aggressive, but Super Tease is um, already trinketed. Oh. Now Super Tease is taking a lot of damage. Calm down. Leg sweep down with 13% HP. Rallying Cry coming out. He does have the Heart of the Wild up. Going to catch a huge NS on himself. His bar skin is going to fade. He has no trinket, no bar skin. They could make something happen with the next Asphyxiate onto him if he's not careful. Um, having to use that Iron Bark onto Tony as well and this TSG coming out of the gates with huge pressure but at the same time Valido taking a lot of damage down to 30% HP has that um, Icebound Fortitude up but it is going to fade and he's going to have to use that AMS as well and now I guarantee you they're going to be wanting to swap on the Super Tease who has really nothing left I mean his Bark is coming up in 23 seconds if they can get a good Asphyxiate onto him it could be the end of him if, so he has to play safe the charge coming out Super Tease just camping that bear for him he doesn't want to get stunned out of bear getting gripped in there's the Asphyxiate this could be the end the safe part coming out though uh, from Losa on a Super is preventing some of that damage. He's going to be able to displace away and be completely fine. And now Valido on the back foot. DJ Rassler doing everything he can to top him off. Now Valido blowing some offensive cooldowns, trying to keep up the pressure. But both Valido and Lyrics under a lot of pressure. They are swapping off onto Tony right now. But Super T should be able to easily heal him up at range, casting out those regrows at the moment. And now DJ Ratzler is caught into that full wave. And the bash on the Lyrics and Rage Regeneration coming up from him. He knows he's in a lot of trouble, but he might just dip into Execute range. DJ Ratzler having to trinket as well as throw out the Life Cocoon. That was the um, Die by the Sword as well coming up from Lyrics. And now Valido getting switched down to down to 30% HP, almost in Execute range, using that AMS to try to avoid some incoming damage. DJ Ratzler also getting feared up there by Losa at the moment. He's going to Nimble Brew that immediately, so he has no trinket and no Nimble for for the next amount of incoming CC. Yeah, that was a nice uh, Cyclone Steal coming out from Valido. Wow, that disengage back on to the ledge was sick coming out from Tony to get away from this double melee. Super was put into that CC. Looks like this KFC is still going to be fine, but this TSG, on the other hand, is in a lot of trouble. DJ Ratslayer just trying to get these Ore Master heals out to top off his DK. The triple Shockwave coming out from Losa, and even the Enrage uh, regen coming out from Losa as well to make sure that he stays offensive. And, I mean, this KFC, now that they're stabilized, and Super Tease has that he has Barkskin available for the next swap. He's going to be completely fine. And now, our monk, suck is, our monk Sucks is very, very scared, I feel. Uh, but there's a Shockwave on both the, the melee DPS once again, gripping Tony back uh, back into melee range. But Tony should be completely fine as he does have Trinket and both of theirs to turns is available to him. He wants to get offensive, though. The Bash goes out into DJ Ratslayer. The Crow is under Vid Videlo. The Rallying Cry even being used from Lyrics and Cocoon also being used on Valido and uh, Tony at the same time is going to catch that Iron Bark to keep him completely offensive. Super T is getting uh, switched to by Lyrics, but he's just going to go into that bear form. Now Losa taking a bit of pressure, using that spin to win. He could be in a lot of trouble here, actually dipping down to 30% health here. I mean, this uh, this TSG needs to find those little opportunities to take a game off of these guys uh, on these hard swaps or maybe even uh, gimping someone, but it's going to be difficult with a team like uh, Tony from the Bronx. They're really good at rotating those defensive cooldowns, but the fear goes out under DJ Ratslayer and, and Valido now taking a whole bunch of damage once again, but the defensive fear coming out from Lyrics is going to prevent that damage. 
Yeah, now DJ Rats are caught into that trap. Wyvern, Valido down to 30% HP, does no cooldowns available to him. Icebound, Fortitude just coming off CD. Now Lyrics has that recklessness up. They're trying to make something happen on a Super T. He's going to get away in bear form, though. And Valido down to 30% HP. DJ Rats are doing everything he can to top him off at the moment, but he's having a really hard time. AMS, Bubble, a uh, <laughs> Icebound, Fortitude coming out from Valido. Tony taking a little bit of damage, but Super T should be able to heal him up. Lyrics also under a lot of pressure, having to use that Enrage Regeneration and the Die by the sword. They are just trucking through our monk sucks cooldowns at the moment. DJ Ratzler does have his trinket available. He's caught into that full shockwave at the moment. Um, he does have trinket, like I said, as well as nimble brew. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. This um, uh, team of Tony of the Bronx story has so much pressure against our monk sucks right now. Um, Valido like I said, forced to just hit Losa. They could do these little swaps like we were saying, but ultimately they're not that effective. They're going to have to get some sort of gib, I feel like, going on. Um, this game is in the hands of Tony from the Bronx right now, and I feel like if they don't make mistakes, it's going to be very hard for Armax Sunks to actually get a kill and secure the win. DJ Rassler's mana down to 30% HP. Dampening going to be kicking in in around 9 seconds. Super T is caught in that x fix. So the Shockwave on the Tony, he's taking a lot of damage. He does have two deterrences available. BM Crows are already to go from Tony from the Bronx. He's going to pop that immediately. Um, or he's going to pop the BM immediately. He still has Crows ready to go. Using those Crows on Valido down to 13% HP. He's going to use that Death Pact, but he's still getting chunked down so hard. The Life Cocoon coming up, but he's getting executed through it. They shred through it immediately. He's down to 30%. Um, he gets out of execute range finally. DJ Rassler are able to get some healing on him, but that was so many cooldowns uh, because he monk bubbled in execute range. Losa was able to break it so quickly. Now the double shockwave coming out from Losa on Valido as well as Lyrics. Um, DJ Rassler, if we look at his cooldowns, all he le has left is his trinket. Losa taking a lot of damage, though, having to use that rage regeneration. He also has full hots from Super T. Super T is caught into that paralyzed from DJ Ratzler. Uh, Super T is going to return the flavor with the the favor, Ooh. pardon me, with the bash clone onto DJ Ratzler. But Tony and Losa uh, taking a lot of pressure from this TSG. Super T is having a hard time playing pickup. Both healers not in the best situation in terms of mana at the moment. And uh, Tony from the Bronx actually on the back foot. Somehow, some way, Armonk Sunks is looking like they're turning it around. The pressure is unbelievable, but here we go. Tony using those crows. He wants to get offensive on Valido, and uh, DJ Ratzler is still not in any CC. He's going to go ahead and use that cocoon, but at 8% dampening, both of these teams' his mana is suffering. Losa now caught into that shockwave. Ironbark being caught from Tony. Lyrics at 42% healthier. Both of these teams just trading blow for blow, and the pressure from both of these cleaves is pretty ridiculous at 9% uh, dampening, and you can see that with uh, both of the mana of DJ Ratzler and Supatiz, but I mean, the consistent pressure pressure of this uh, this TSG is going to shine through, but the double shockwave coming out from Losa on both of these DPS, and uh, ooh, DJ Ratzler actually going for a drink, that's huge, Super T's actually going to go ahead and trink it, and to go and stop that drink, I think that's a good move, but Lido now, he's dipping down to 20% healthier, this could be Execute Rage coming out, Rallying Cry having to be forced by Lyrics, the Wormenstein going out into DJ Ratzler, he's going to have to trink at that, but he goes into the DR trap, is this going to be it, the DK is still very, very low, the full fear goes out into DJ Ratzler, and that's going to be the game. Tony from the Bronx is going to take another game off of our Monk Sucks in advance down the winner's bracket. Well, Lyrics actually did an excellent job there. Uh, something we missed is at the end of that game when uh, Super T's actually pushed in for that bash clone, he heroically back and reflected the clone onto Super T's, but uh, ultimately it didn't end up mattering, and Tony from the Bronx is going to take this matchup 2-0. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, honestly, I think that that trinket to go and stop that drink was a good one even though it didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things considering Valido ended up dying there um i think that that would be their advantage if any um either a gib on the super tees because they got so many uh, offensive defensive cooldowns for their offensive cooldowns or um their consistent pressure might shine through and dampen